Hey guys, hope you guys are having a good day today, and in today's video, I want to show you guys how to kind of make some gradient effects, kind of like the one that you uh, see right over here, and um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so to start, we're going to grab our rectangle tool, and we're going to just grab and drag this, and we're going to create a little square, let's fill this in, it's black, and when we go to the fill box right here, we can actually just hop over to the gradient right away. So this is probably like the easiest way to face the gradient um, when you're doing it in a shape or whatnot. So this is how I like to go about it. There are multiple ways and I will show you how to get there. So right here, this little um, icon is highlighted as it's a little bit bigger than the one on the other side. If I were to click on this, this one on the other side, this color right here, um, I can change this now. So if I want it blue, I can change it blue. And if I want to change this white over here to a different color, say green, I can do that. And that's how you do that, okay? And if you want to add more points or more colors, simply just add or click in the um, gradient line right there, and it'll add a new point. Initially, it's going to mix the two colors like it did right there. So we have like a kind of greenish, bluish, turquoise, turquoise -ish. can't even say that word, <laughs> not, not going to try. But say we want to add pink, we could add some pink right there. And then by grabbing the little arrow, not arrow, but slider points right here, which is basically like the mix of the middle of the two colors. And you can also select and drag and move these as well. Another thing that you can do with um, these colors when you're selecting them is you can go down to this noise slider um, in the gradient box and you can actually slide this all the way up or to your liking and you can see like these little pixels or whatnot gives you like a little texture in the gradient and I think it looks pretty cool um, you can definitely add it to the background or whatnot but all you do is cl click on the um, color that you, you want to do it to go to the color box and the noise slider is right there at the bottom alright so another way that you guys can attack your gradient is you can go over to the gradient tool right here and you can just select one spot click and hold drag to the other side like so and then it's kinda like the same thing as I just showed you guys previously um, you just click on the other nodes or whatnot and it's gonna be up in this right hand corner now is where you're gonna make your color adjustment so if I want this side to be uh, the white now I can do that and I'll come over here and make this uh, red we'll do that and just like the other one you can also add nodes anywhere along the line and you can change the color just like the other ones when you're using this tool or whatnot you can do it at more than you can do it at 360 degree angles like it doesn't matter um, what direction you're pointing the gradient like you can put the gradient anywhere um, some other things I want to show you guys real quick is if you go up to the top right here and you go to um, uh, linear this is what the gradients gonna start on automatically is linear that's this like uh, vertical not uh, well, vertical or horizontal path of the gradient uh, from left to right or right to left or top to bottom bottom up um, if we switch to elliptical um, and we zoom out we can see that the gradient is now in a form of like a circle and we can actually move these around or whatnot and you can see that um, radial is going to be pretty much the same thing as the other one with just a different node and the conical is going to kind of come up in like a, a cone form. Alright, I just want to show you guys one more thing real quick is if you want to put the gradient inside like a text or something like that, it's really simple. All you got to do is pick the uh, gradient or shape that the gradient's in and literally put the layer right over top of the text layer that you want it in. Just drop it in right there and there you go it'll be right inside of it and you can actually still move the, the uh, gradient rectangle around like so to your liking but yeah pretty easy pretty versatile right there thank you guys so much for watching if you liked the video please subscribe and drop a like it really helps me push out more content for you guys and um yeah that's we'll do it for this video uh see you guys in the next one